Hi, welcome again to my channel. Thank you for subscribing my YouTube channel, Science Time Discussion. For the new viewers, kindly subscribe my channel by clicking the button. Thank you. Our presentation in this video will discuss the topic, Seismic Wave, which covers the lessons, definition of seismic waves, main types of seismic waves, subtypes of seismic waves, difference of seismogram and seismograph and characteristics of waves just sit back and relax while watching and listening to my discussion so let's start you learned that an earthquake is a vibration of the earth produced by the rapid release of energy most often because of the slippage along a fault in the earth's crust this energy radiates in all directions from the focus in the form of waves definition of seismic waves are earthquake waves are vibrations waves of energy generated by earthquakes they travel through the earth like a tsunami travels through the ocean or the sound travels through the air seismic waves are waves of energy that travel through the earth's layers as a result from earthquakes volcanic eruptions magma movement large landslides and large man-made explosions that give out low frequency acoustic energy the time it takes for seismic waves to arrive at seismic observatories allows scientists to locate the precise location of the earthquake that generated them. Seismic waves are studied by geophysicists called seismologists. Seismic wave fields are recorded by a seismometer, hydrophone in water, or accelerometer. Seismology is the scientific study of earthquakes and the propagation of elastic waves through the earth or through other planet-like bodies. The field also includes studies of earthquake, environmental effects such as tsunami, a Japanese term for harbor wave, as well as diverse seismic sources such as volcanic, tectonic, glacial, Flavial, oceanic, and others. The scientific study of earthquakes and of the internal structure of the earth includes the study of the origin, geographic distribution, effects, and possible prediction of earthquakes. Seismologists are scientists who study earthquakes and planetary activities as well as their effects such as tsunami. They use instruments to gather data and monitor the Earth's crust. They usually work in offices or laboratories but may travel to sites of seismic activity. Seismogram, a recording of Earth's motion as a function of time, is called seismogram. A seismogram is a record written by a seismograph in response to ground motions produced by an earthquake, explosion, or other ground motion sources. A seismogram is a graph output by a seismograph. It is a record of the ground motion at a measuring station as a function of time. Seismogram is the graphical record of an earthquake. A seismogram is a graph output by a seismograph. Seismograph or seismometer is an instrument used to detect and record earthquakes. Now let us proceed to main types of seismic waves. Those are the body waves and surface waves. A body wave is a seismic wave that moves through the interior of the earth as opposed to surface waves that travel near the earth's surface body waves is a seismic wave that moves through the interior of the earth two types of body wave are primary waves and secondary waves 
P waves and S waves are body waves that propagate through the planet. The P wave or the primary wave is a pulse energy that travels quickly through the earth and through liquids. The primary wave travels faster than the secondary wave. After an earthquake, it reaches a detector first. The reason why is it called primary. The primary waves, also called compressional waves, travel by particles vibrating parallel to the direction the wave travel. They force the ground to move backward and forward as they are compressed and expanded. Most importantly, they travel through solids, liquids, and gases. The secondary wave or S wave or shear wave is a pulse energy that travels slower than a P wave through earth and solids. The S waves move as shear or transverse waves and force the ground to sway from side to side in rolling motion that shakes the ground back and forth perpendicular to the direction of the waves. The idea that the secondary waves cannot travel through any liquid medium led seismologists to conclude that the outer core is liquid. Surface waves can only travel through the surface of the earth. They arrive after the main primary and secondary waves and are confined to the outer layers of the earth. Surface waves has characteristics of both longitudinal and transverse waves. Particles move in a direction that is both parallel and perpendicular to the direction of wave motion. There are two types of surface waves the love waves and the Rayleigh waves. Love wave is named after a British mathematician who worked out the mathematical model of this kind of wave in 1991. It is faster than Rayleigh wave and it moves the ground in a side-to-side -side horizontal motion like that of snakes causing the ground to twist. This is why love waves cause the most damage to structures during an earthquake. Rayleigh wave. The other kind of surface wave is the Rayleigh wave. It was named after John William Strutt or Lord Rayleigh, who mathematically predicted that the existence of this kind of wave in 1885. A Rayleigh wave rolls along the ground just like a wave rolls across a lake or an ocean. Since it rolls, it moves the ground either up and down or side to side, similar to the direction of the wave's movement. Most of the shaking felt from an earthquake is due to the Rayleigh wave. Rayleigh waves include both longitudinal and transverse motions that decrease exponentially in amplitude as distance from the surface increases. So since that we are through with our discussion, I will be giving you activities of this topic. Activity 1, you have to describe the movement and characteristics of these waves based from the picture given. For activity 2, Using the given organizer, write the necessary information to complete the concept about seismic waves. For the third activity, you have to differentiate surface waves from body waves. And question number two, which type of waves do you think were useful to seismologists in their study of the Earth's interior? And explain your answer. And it ends for now. Hope that you like and learn from this discussion. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel, Science Time Discussion. Thank you. Have a blessed day.